Manchester walking the Marlborough path wearing what I believe to be someone else's shoes. I was sat there in my university dorm room trying to get my way into the corporate world, trying to get a degree in honestly anything, anything, because that's what everyone had told me to do. That's what society told me success was for me. And so that's what I was trying to pursue. But there was this other voice, which I always talk about with my team, with my family, that felt really suppressed in my core. And it was quiet and it was strong at the same time. And that voice seemed to know something I didn't. It seemed to know that those weren't my shoes. And that wasn't going to be my destination. And that I could do greater things. And I know Jamal Edwards' friends are in the house tonight. And Jamal was a big inspiration to me for nurturing <laughs> I was trying to do anything to have a conversation with the guy, but he let me know vicariously that I could, that that voice inside me wasn't crazy, and that I was capable of and deserving of doing greater things that were more in line with that voice inside. I, from a very young age, just felt there was this strong inner voice, and I believe everyone has it. This isn't me being religious or spiritual or woo-woo. This is me saying that there is a voice that we all hear in our minds, in our hearts, in our heads, wherever you want to say it is. It's there. 